Good day, folks. It's Great Geo here. Today's, well, today's second video, um, or possibly today's first, if it's Thursday, this should be the first video that comes out before PvP with Great Geo and Gerlags. Uh, if this does come out on Wednesday, uh, actually Halloween, happy Halloween if that's, that's what day it is, and if not, happy belated Halloween. Um, this is a video that came as the result of myself and Gerlags fiddling around, and this is a video unlike... Uh, the ones I've been doing recently. I haven't done a Canon video in a while and I was anxious to get back and this was the result of that desire. So this is, I, I would like to stress that this is 100% straight from my creative imagination. There may be many like it, but I've yet to see them. Or, and if someone has one similar to this that they've published, I apologize to that author or video crea creator, videographer, but this one, I this came straight from my head. So this is probably my proudest, proudest creation to date as far as Redstone, TNT, and the like goes. But uh, I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do. Here we go. Good day, folks. It's Gray Geo here. Um, I've got some a bit of a special treat for you guys today. I haven't done a Canon video in a good long while. So what I'm going to do today is something even better than a Canon video, really. Huh. A bit of lag going on. Don't know what that's about. What's my... I'm only getting about 26. What's that about? Render is far, but... It's never been an issue. Let's throw it to normal and see how that does. Alright. There's going to be a bit of lag. I'm not on the lag machine right now. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah. Um, oops, sorry about that sound. That's uh, another video about this. Um saying it's done being rendered. I started fiddling around today with anvil cannons and I think I have made the most powerful one that I've seen to date and I will be working on even stronger ones. I shot an anvil 220 blocks earlier. I'll just show you the marks. I've been using this uh, this green wool. There, my frame went back up. I've been using this green wool to uh, denote where the anvils actually landed. Um, this all started when I realized that um, falling anvils were entities. And so I thought, hey, if you drop one at the right time uh, in accordance with the detonation of TNT, it should throw the anvil. And I looked up anvil cannons and I found some simple ones and none of them made a whole lot of sense. Like some used two TNT and launched it like way up high. Um, again, my my cannons are made for practicality. Oh, I want to go back over here. And versatility. So if you make something like this, you'll be able to shoot it as high or as low as you really want. Uh, limited only by blowing up the ground around the cannon. All right, so let's get a look at all the anvils you can see here. Um, this one went exactly 220 blocks. This one went 218. This one 217. This one went 225. That's the current record that we have. So just look around here. There are no anvils around besides these ones that are marked. And I'll mark this one just for the sake of proof, like that and that. Okay, so if there's green above it, we know it's already here. We are alone on this server. Even Gerlags isn't here. And in the event that he logs on, he will actually log back on on top of that tree. And if and when that happens, I will go back over there to verify that he has not placed any anvils. Pardon me if I seem to be getting a little worked up about this. This is probably my proudest creation. Um, tell me in the comments if you would like a tutorial on this. It's really simple to build, and I will be making an even more powerful one if I can help it. But for now, I have a challenge for you. That anvil is going to fly higher than the clouds. I want you to follow it with your eyes. Goodbye. And it's gone. All right, now let's get down there. Would just like to verify I'm still alone on this server. No one has popped up. Gerlags isn't here. Gerlags is actually in real life. He went to get our friend Cody, uh, Cody K Gaming. I'll link him in the description um, to pick him up. Cody lives near our hometown. Okay, so let's find. There it is, right here. Not quite the same distance. It looks to be. That's too. 216 or 218 216 
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 207 blocks on this one. Let's give this one more test fire and we'll call it a wrap. Again, um, if you're watching this, you probably saw it posted on the forum. Uh, if you guys would like to see a tutorial on this, just let me know. Uh, I have the sneaking suspicion that someone will make a tutorial for something like this before I do, but I will be releasing my own. This is my original creation. I mean, none of this design is actually based off anything I found on YouTube. Um, one really practical cannon that I found was done by DocM77. I will link him in the description as well. But I decided I wanted to go a step bigger. So if you followed my videos religiously, which I don't believe anyone but my next of kin really has at this point, you will have seen my super cannon and practical cannon video. This is based off those designs with the tweak of adding the anvil. Three layers of TNT, total of 21 TNT, kaboom! Ooh, that one got a lot of height. It probably didn't go as far as the other ones, but yeah. Um, this cannon's distance varies. Obviously, the best we've done is 225. This is not it, I don't believe. Um, I think the variation comes from... Comes from... No way. That's that one. The variation comes from when the game decides to actually let the anvil drop from its place atop the recently retracted anvil... Or, piston. Pardon that. Hmm... I'm not really seeing the... Is this... Is this it? No, this one's marked. That's the record. I will be also making a video of the exact same design inside a test world. Yeah, that must actually be it, actually. Actually, actually, actually. This is looking like this is the one. So this one's not that far at all. Like, I did call that, that height thing. So far, as far as windage goes, and for those of you who aren't familiar with ballistics terms, windage is the direction you aim left or right of target. It's been pretty consistent right down this line right here. Um, but the thing is the distance is, the distance is very quite a bit. So we'll give this thing one last try, and we'll call this one a wrap. Um, this is by far my proudest creation. Uh, I'm, I'd imagine there's one that can beat it that's probably already out there. I've yet to see it, and if it's there, kudos to the person that made it. Uh, I will be working on this tonight for the sake of an even farther shot. And that's going to get a little complicated. I do want to keep this build as simply, simple as possible. The cool thing about this, you can actually also replace the anvil with sand or gravel or anything like that. Or anything that falls, which are only those two blocks besides the anvil. That one got some distance. Definitely went farther than this guy. I'm hoping for a new record. 225 is going to be tough to beat. But yeah, this, these tests aren't as legitimate as they would be in a super flat world. Um, this one right here. So yeah, you can see that uh, it does vary, but this thing, this is one heck of a creation. Uh, the shortest shot was right there. Cannon's over there. The longest shot was right there, down here. As always, folks, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.